So this first move is called Grass and Peacock's Tail. It's a form of ward off, which is one of the four main forces in Tai Chi. It's a, a bracing movement. So the idea is that someone's pushing on both your arm, on, on uh, your wrist and your arm here, and you're pushing them away, not with your arm, but with your waist and with the power of that leg. So it's the power goes through this part of your body or the direction of, of force goes through there. So I push and this other hand here is also helping me make that power too. This uh, is also used for joint locks, for the elbows and things like that too. So let's put the legs onto this. So feet are shoulder width from the previous movements. We're already sitting in the in the qua and qua in the in the feet. We do the raise arms first. As you do this, letting a little bit of weight go into the ball of the foot, so a bit more. So I've got about 60% weight in the ball of the foot. It'll help open the Yung Chun point, the kidney one point, ball of the foot. Then the weight then settles back into evenness through front and back of the feet. Then from here, I'm starting to shift my weight into the right leg, stepping and opening the leg. So as I step, I'm not just stepping and having my, see how my feet, my feet are both on the same line here. So if I draw that foot straight back, I'm going to run into my other foot. I step out, but a little bit over this way too. There. So I'll have, when I transfer the weight and I push that heel back, I'll have two fists, two fists between my feet. At least a fist. If, that, if two, two fists would be hard to get, at least a fist between. So let's try that again. So we're sitting, letting the weight shift to the ball of the foot just a little bit. Then the weight shifts back evenly in the feet. And I'm shifting my weight into the right uh, left leg. Body's starting to turn as I open that. And I, I've just stepped, I haven't transferred weight yet, so that's important. So I push the weight forward now, this foot is straight. And at a certain point, I push the heel back. So when you adjust your feet in Tai Chi, it's either you're adjusting the toe, so you're pivoting on the heel, or you're pivoting on the ball of the foot and pushing the heel back. And right now, we're, the, the ball of the foot stays there, and we push the heel back. That's what we're doing. And we finish that, that 10 degrees off center. So if I was fully twisted, I'd be here. So bring the arm up here. So it's in line with your shoulder. In terms of the fingers, we're not too open like this. The other hand just resting here, just off lock, fingers point straight ahead, shoulders relaxed. Again, letting the weight shift forward. So we're transferring weight to left leg, body starting to turn here. Step with the width, so I've stepped enough this way across. Transfer the weight, pushing that heel back until that leg's straight. And I'm off center here, popping that arm up about your solar plexus height. Fingers point straight ahead here, shoulders relaxed. So, from the other angle from the front, really key point to protect my left knee, especially is as I, so I'll do this part here, raise arms, weight goes forward a bit, sits back. I start transferring the weight, but I start turning my hip too. So I'm starting to orient my body a little bit already to go to the 45 degrees. As I do that, this knee here doesn't follow my body. See how my knee just come in? This is a very bad angle for the, for the knee. A lot of people walk this way and they want to have knee issues. So your knee stays open in line with your big toe. So I've got that alignment, knee stay there, body starts to turn. And see this point here, my knee's still in line with my toe. It hasn't come in one little bit at all. So I want you to really make sure that happens for you. And I push the weight forward, and I push the heel back, which is that last little bit. So I've got that about 60 degree angle. Just check your front foot is straight ahead going the direction we're going to go for quite a few steps. We'll do that again. So 
So I'm transferring weight. So I lift that leg, I'm starting to turn the hips, the knee stays in that spot. Knee still in line with my big toe. Transfer weight, push the heel back. Now I'm vertical, very easy to do this. Vertical. So let's do this practice with the right leg now. So we, we're pivoting um, through the right leg. So we do the raise arms first, the weight shifting a little bit to the ball of the foot, opens all the fascia between the metatarsals. And I'm relaxing here, shifting the weight over to this leg, the right leg. Knee stays in line with my big toe as I step out. Just a comfortable step. So I can still draw this back in. I haven't fallen into the step and I transfer the weight forward pivot on the ball of the foot so the heel goes back so leg straight body vertical left arm here right arm pushing down this way this foot straight ahead very common for it to either open too much or to be still sort of pointing to the corner over here so we want that foot to be straight ahead let's do it again So transfer weight, keep the knee in line with the big toe, starting to turn the body, rest on the heel, body's at 45 degrees here, push the weight forward, push the heel back, and we finish just off centre, left arm, solar plexus height, fingers pointing where you're going to go. I'm going to do the left side, which will be your mirror image of the right side. So when you first do the form, we're stepping out with the right leg out towards the right. So I'm going to do stepping towards the left, so you can just mimic my, my motion in a mirror way. Then I'll face different directions, because uh, every direction helps. So I'm sitting in the knees, raise arms. So as I start to shift my weight across, so you're shifting your weight into your left leg, my arms start to open, circle, and step. So we hold it here. So I've got my step with enough width, and my body's at 45 degrees, and I've got this hold the ball position. So shoulders are dropped, I'm not up like this, not too high, about your throat height here, and there's a nice scooping motion with this arm, so everything's rounded out. This knee, very important, is still in line with my big toe. It hasn't turned in. Then from here, push forward, brushing past the wrist, adjust the heel, and I sink into that position there. So solar plexus height, fingers point straight ahead. So transfer the weight into the left leg, both arms open. My left arm makes this big scooping motion, I step. So this point here is like a point I can stop, I'm at 45 degrees, knee open, holding the ball. So your right arm is underneath here, your left arm is on top. And I'm pushing the weight forward, it's like I'm pushing someone away with this arm here. At the same time I'm going to brush past, like there's a bird on my arm like a peacock, and I'm brushing the bird's tail. 
and I push that heel back. <laughs> 